Could you just speak quickly on the ARB issue? The governor said downstairs in very simple language that the next chair of that board has to agree with him on cap and trade, and that not just want to study it, someone who believes that's the way to, to go. Well, look, uh, it's been pretty clear to me that the administration has been putting undue pressure on the leadership of the Air Resources Board. That's why they're without an executive director, and that is why uh, Ms. Witherspoon, who was the lead negotiator uh, for the administration on AB 32, uh, is now gone. The only reason why they're gone is because clearly the administration uh, was tying their hands behind their back in not allowing them to do the job that they needed to do in order to begin the implementation phase of AB 32. So I'm not surprised that um, there is a philosophical difference here with respect to who ought to be at the helm of the ARB. But that's the governor's discretion. That's the governor's choice. He can appoint whoever he wants. The one thing that I'm saying the administration cannot do under any circumstances is to skirt the law of the state of California. The law the governor signed, AB 32, calls for mandatory reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. So far, the early action items that CARB has undertaken leave a lot to be desired for. And whether he, the, the, the governor decides to appoint a conservative, a liberal, whoever he decides to appoint, I'm less concerned about that and more concerned about the administration playing politics with the Air Resources Board to keep them from doing their job to, in effect, implement the law that the governor signed. Just a quick follow, does that present some of the difficulties, though, in choosing the ARB as the lead agency, which, which you and fellow Democrats agreed to? Well, we agreed, let me just tell you, we agreed to choose the Air Resources Board to be the agency that was going to handle most of the important issues with respect to AB 32, because this is an agency that is very well respected, not only in California, but around the country for its good work and for its ability to deliver on the goods and having good, sound judgment. That ability to have that great judgment has been uh, clearly uh, taken away from them by the administration, which is why you, you've had the resignations. So it does cause uh, great concern on my part and uh, leading to the main reason why we're going to be having this hearing on Friday.